What's up guys? Welcome to the Saga Draft Pick video. Uh, so the draft that the draft leak that I started uh, finally completed its uh, drafting session, which surprisingly only took about an hour and a half. We were very diligent. Everybody was there. We were all picking like really quickly. It was really smooth until we got near the end. And I will talk about that once we get things going. But let us see the actual team that we got here. So we have Lace, which is the San Francisco Sylveons. Uh, Java Mamba, who is the Phoenix Hoopas. Name tab, uh, Rutland Regigigas. Regigigas. Electric Slurping Snake, which is the Dallas Durants. Uh, S. Stenick, Stenick, I actually do not know how to pronounce that name. Who is all? Uh, who is the El Paso Vaporeons? Pie Man, I am definitely gonna butcher this one. My Mimson, Mimson, Monchaps. Uh, Echo, who is the H Houston Golurks, and then finally. We have myself, who is the Umbreon Knight Raiders. All right, so we started out with the pick. So this is the actual order that the picks uh, went through. And here is the layout. Uh, we have tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, tier five, mega free pick one, free pick two, free, free pick three, and free pick four. Tongue twister right there. We have on the bottom of the screen, uh, the current picker, and then the two, which is at an opacity of 50, uh, the upcoming pickers. So let us get started with the actual picks. So the San Francisco Sylveons went first, and they chose Landorus uh, Therian, uh, Therian form. Next we have the uh, Phoenix Hoopas. They chose uh, Mega Tyranitar, which is going to be a real pain, in my opinion. Next, we have the Rutland Regi Regigigas, who chose the Mega Diancy. So we have two Mega picks in the first round. Um, Dallas Durant chose Zoroa, or yeah, Zoroa. Uh, this was actually a debate we had before actually going for the picks, whether we were going to put Zora in the actual league or not. We decided that we were going to test it out, see how it was going to work, because there is actually no strategy against them right now on Smogon. So we're just going to see how, how well it works. Next, we have the El Paso Vaporeons. They chose Suicune, and all of the... Uh, sprites here are the shiny forms and I do not I do not take credit for the shiny form or I do not take credit for the sprites if you guys want them they will be down in the description so you guys can get them for yourselves next we have uh, the match apps I'm not even gonna try the first word now uh, Celestila next we have the Houston Golurks so they chose Mega Venusaur. A lot. Uh, some of us had actual logos made, so I put them in instead of actually having the names. So, and then the Umbreon Knight Raiders chose uh, Swampert, and then we are doing the Snake route. So it is me once again, and I chose uh, Gengar as my second pick. So we are now in the second round. Um, the Houston Golurks chose Victini as their second pick. The Machamps chose Mega Latias. Whew, that is going to be interesting. Uh, the El Paso Vaporeons chose Crobat, which is a really good uh, hazard, um, D hazard. So uh, that was a good pick on their part. Uh, the Dallas Durants chose Mega Gyarados. And once you get a couple of dragon dances up, it is like really tough. So now we have the Rutland Regigigases, Regigigas, sorry. They chose Zygarde 50%, which you can uh, debate whether it's uh, the 50% or just regular Zygarde. 
back to Phoenix Hoopas. They chose Mew. Okay. That's that shouldn't be too tough. I mean it is a legendary, so or a mythical, however you wanna categorize that one. The San Francisco Sylveons um, chose Tapu Coco as their first free pick because they already had a tier one and they went to another tier one Pokemon so it is their first free pick and they get to go once again and they chose Weavile which is okay. Um, the Phoenix Hoopas chose Togekiss and then the Rutland Regigigas chose Scizor. The Dallas Durants chose uh, Primarina. I don't, honestly, I don't like this one. I'm not going to go on about that, anyways. Uh, El Paso Vaporeons chose Cl Clefki. And then we have the Machaps choosing Sylvie, uh, Silvali. So they can do whatever the form they want and uh, they don't have uh, they don't actually have to tell the opponents what form they're going to be bringing uh, for um, because it has so many forms you would want to be informed uh, ahead of time and like maybe two or three different forms they would possibly bring so you can kind of prep around it because if you if you're trying to prep around all of them it's going to be complete and utter disaster so the Houston Gullerks chose Rotom Wash um, back to myself I chose Garchomp as my thir uh, third round pick and then on to the fourth round I chose Mega Absol <sighs> uh, Houston Gullerks we are in they um, sorry they chose Thunderous in its original form the mod chaps chose Clefable. El Paso Vaporeons chose Curum Black. Dallas Durants chose Donfen. And the Rutland Regigigas chose Slowking. Back to the Phoenix Hoopas, they chose the Cloister. And then San Francisco Sylveon for their final pick in the fourth round chose Mega Charizard X and that's gonna be really interesting uh, on to the fifth round they chose Gastrodon and then we are back to the Phoenix Hoopas who chose Thunderous Therian form Rutland Reg Regigigas chose a Sylveon as their fifth round pick and Dallas Durant chose Buzzwald as their fifth round pick. And oh my gosh, I do not want to meet that on the streets because he looks mad. El Paso Vaporeons chose Mega Pinsir, so that looks scary. Houston Golurks, their fifth round pick is Empoleon, which is also a good uh, D hazard if they want to use it in that in that way. And then back to myself, I chose Skarmory. And then on to the sixth round, I chose Alolan Raichu. I do like Alolan Raichu. I've been picking it for so many um, leagues now. It's kind of become one of my staples. Uh, Houston Golurks, they chose Porygon 2. And then back to the matchups, they chose Infernape as their sixth round pick. El Paso Vaporeons, we have Porygon Z. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. And Dallas Durant chose Tornadus, its original form. Uh, Rutland Regigigas chose Bronzong. So now all the Rutland Regigigas needs are their free picks, which is coming up. The Phoenix Hoopas chose Registeel which is kind of a tank to be honest unless you're going up against fire other than that it's yeah so San Francisco Sylveons their final pick of the sixth round was Florgus 
And on to the seventh round, we have a Zelf, which just looks so cute. The Phoenix Hoopas go ahead and choose a Tapu Fini. And its shiny form looks amazing. I really wish they would release it, but they haven't, which is so sad. On to the Rutland Regigigases. They chose Coffee Grigas as their first free pick. The Dallas Durants chose Stakataka as their second free pick. El Paso Vaporeons. They chose, uh, well, Vaporeon. Gotta get that um, mascot Pokemon in there somehow, right? Alright. The Machaps chose Nido Queen, and oh boy, at least it's not a Nido King. The Houston Golurks choose Umbreon, and a lot of people said I got sniped. I actually did not get sniped. I was not actually intending to draft Umbreon, even though it is my mascot. It was not part of my plan. So, back to me. We have the Fortress uh, as my final six. Seventh round, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seventh round. Sorry about that. On to the eighth round, I chose Blaziken. Now it we are only going to be using um its uh ba -ba -ba -ba, Blaze ability. So I don't actually get the speed boost because that would be a little broken. And then on back over to Houston Golurks, they chose a Ditto as their fifth uh, fifth tier Pokemon. The Machops chose Miltank as their second free uh, free pick. El Paso Vaporeons chose. Oh man, I can never pronounce this one. Ter Ser Serena. I'm gonna say Serena and get it over with. That was their second free pick. Dallas Durant's they chose as their third free pick as Rose Roserade and that black flower along with the purple flower good good shiny man Rutland Regigigas we got as their second free pick Amoongus and then on back over to the Phoenix Hoopas they pick for their third free pick Entei which Okay. On back over to San Francisco Sylveons. They chose Rotom Mo as their fifth tier pick. And then on to the ninth round, we have Dublade, which gosh, that just looks evil with the red with the red blades, man. Back over to the Phoenix Hoopas, we have Rhydon as the fifth tier pick. Man, that took them a while to actually figure out what they wanted to do with that fifth tier. The Rutland, ooh, my bad. The Rutland Regigigas chose, uh, so we had a little bit of a discrepancy here. Uh, they wanted, um, let's see, what did they want? I gotta go over here. They wanted Nihiligo, and they actually could not get Nihiligo because they did not have the points. So they decided to go with uh, Tangela. And the Dallas Durants moved over to the Reuniclus as their ninth pick. And El Paso Vaporeons chose a Lowen Muck. The Machups chose Mamoswine. I had to actually read that one just to pronounce it correctly. The Houston Golurks chose, oh boy, uh, Galvantula and I'm afraid of spiders, so that thing actually scares me. Uh, as my ninth pick, I chose Flygon, which is a really good um, hazard setter, actually, as well as keeping away from Earthquake. But you never know what I'm going to use it for, right? And for my final pick, I chose Blissey, a really good tank, and a really good Toxicer. But, you know... You can use it however it's actually, it, it, it could be used in many ways. So Houston Golurks, their final pick was Weezing. The Machamps, their final pick was Swellow. The El Paso Vaporeons, their final pick was Lucario. Dallas, uh, Dallas Durant's, their final pick was Dredigon. Dred 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 
God, I completely screwed that up. I am so sorry. The Rutland Regigiguses, their final pick was Galissapod. The Phoenix Hoopas, their final pick was Embor. And finally, we have the San Francisco uh, Sylveons choosing Cobalion. All right, that is the end of the full uh, full draft for the Saga Draft League. I want to give a special thanks to Lace, Nametab, and uh, Stenic, Stenic for helping me out in the league. Um, these guys are uh, uh, these guys are leaders in the league and helping me out. And uh, while I'm not there, they are answering questions and just helping the other players out. So thank you guys so much for uh, working with me and being part of the league. It really helps me out. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys whenever the first, my first week battle is, well, whenever that happens. Uh, the first week actually has started. I'm gonna try and post this up today, which is Sunday. So I will see you guys in the week one battle. Have a wonderful day. Bye.